Hello YouTube. I'm here today to talk about D2 Atoll and the 500 Magic Find Sork that I use for the bot. And this is a bot working for version 1.14D. If you're interested in running this bot, please take a look at my other videos. I'll put it in the description for the playlist. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm going to show her gear, what gives her that 500% Magic Find, what allows her to kill stuff, the skills she uses, the mercenary she uses, and the equipment for that mercenary. And then very briefly I will go over the bosses in which she kills. So to start off she has an Istid Oculus which is pretty standard fare for a Sork who's doing magic finding. This is a very good weapon for a bot especially because the random teleport that occasionally happens really doesn't affect the bot negatively in any way that I can see. So it's a very good weapon overall. 39% chance guards, nothing you know fancy or anything there. Um, you can get 40% obviously if you, if you find them or if you can afford them. A Soge, again, standard fare. Arachnid Mesh. Wisp Protector, if I could afford a 20 Light Sorb Wisp Protector I would, but for now I'm just going to stick with what I have with the 20% Magic Find which works well. 42% War Travelers, again if you can get 50, great. Skulder's Ire F with an Ist in it which is currently giving me 112 plus 6, or excuse me, 25 with the Ist socketed in it. Isted Shaco, Maras, and pretty much just a random spirit. I just made one and that's the one that I got. That's good enough, 31% fine. On the Switch I have a 6BO CTA and I strongly recommend getting a 6BO CTA. And the reason for that is this character is fairly weak overall in terms of being able to take hits. She hits fairly decently, she hits fairly hard considering However, she doesn't have much survivability, and that 6BO CTA is going to make a very big difference when you're trying to stay alive. Again, a random spirit once again for the bonus that it gives to the CTA on the Switch. In my inventory, I have a random Geeds that I found, so same thing if you can get more MF, more power to you. I believe all these are 7 MF SCs except for one or two. Yeah, there's a couple that aren't. A 20 lifer and a 20 life plus 9 mana SC that I found a random torch, and a random Annie. In terms of her mercenary, her mercenary is using an F CA Infinity, and I do recommend the CA Infinity, even though it will run you more, and a CA is a cryptic axe, for those that don't know. The reason is this has a lower strength cost for your merc, and therefore you can use a Vampire Gaze, which eventually I will probably socket with either an Um or a Bear, probably a Bear, to get this um, higher up in terms of the damage reduction and I may even replace this with a 20% damage reduction instead of what I currently have just to make that that much better. Oh look at that mercenary glitch out. <laughs> and I'm currently using stone. Again this is just a temporary armor that I made because it's what I had at the time. I will probably replace this with fortitude later on or what's known as fort just because that's a better armor for him overall and will help him do a lot more damage and just, you know, help keep me alive. So this is good temp stuff though. Like a vampire gaze is pretty cheap and stone is pretty cheap to make. And this is one of the most expensive pieces of equipment um, that will be needed, absolutely needed to magic find with your sword right now. So whatever infinity you can get will be fine but I do recommend, recommend the Cryptic Axe overall. The skills that I'm currently using, and these could be changed up a little bit. I would recommend putting one into Warmth, which will help keep your mana up, considering you don't have a Insight to be using on your Mercenary, and it would help. I've maxed out Lightning Mastery, Chain Lightning, Lightning, Charged Bolt, and eventually I will max out Nova, probably in two or three more levels, and then I will put a point into Warmth as well. No cold, cold skills whatsoever. I didn't choose any of the armors. You can if you want to. That's up to you. I personally don't use it, but that's just how I run uh, this particular Sork. So all that being considered, what can she run? What can she run effectively and quickly? Within a five to six minute run, I have her doing the following. I have her doing a Countess run. I have her doing an Endarial run for Act 2. Or excuse me, Act 1. Act 2, I am doing the Summoner, as well as Durell or Durell, however you prefer to say it. Act 3, I am doing Mephisto. 
Act 4, I'm not doing anything whatsoever because she's not strong enough to do chaos with this amount of MF and the equipment that she's running. It's just not possible to be... It's not time efficient. She can run it. It just takes forever. She ends up doing like 15, 20 minute games and there's zero point to that when I can run three or four games in a row with that same amount of time. Chaos is just not worth doing with her. And in Act 5, I'm doing Eldritch, Shank, Pindleskin, Dakfarin, and Nil, which is the uh, guy inside the Red Boral near Anya. And what will she find? Well, one of the things that she does for me is she collects key sets. Three key sets per night, generally speaking, because I use it when I go to sleep. And then when I wake up, I generally have three key sets because of the, the uh, monsters and bosses that I'm killing. What does she find on a nightly basis? Well, it is very mixed bag, but generally two to three high runes ranging from Ist all the way up through Ohm, Jaw, Bear. I've never found a Zod and I've never found a Vex yet, but that doesn't mean that I won't. And just a general assortment of mid-grade to high-grade uniques. So my list would be different than yours probably, but you know, you can find quite a bit of good stuff if you set it up properly. So 500 MF, there is diminishing returns, but the way that it, I have it set up, I prefer to have more MF. I'm not doing too long a run, so it ends up being pretty profitable for me. I do want to note before I go here that you guys could do this exact same thing with Tall Raja's set instead of running what I have on. It won't give you 500 magic find, but it will still give you a decent amount and you will have more survivability, in my opinion, than my current build. My current build is not really meant for survivability. It's solely magic find. And if you are looking to spend a little bit less form gold or actual money, or you're looking for a cheaper trade in game, Tal Rajas is definitely the way to go. Currently on West, or excuse me, on East's ladder, I am seeing Tal Rajas set go for around 75 to 100 form gold for the entire set. And that's not bad. So I just thought I'd throw that out there and help you guys out if you're interested in doing that. Anyway, guys, if it helped you, please leave me a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And if I helped you, you should help me, right? Pretty simple. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.